leave it. We're going to discuss this later. Don't you worry. We need to talk about your sport a little bit. Oh. Some more MVPs and people, football? people having fun on social media. So we have the NFL's regular season MVP and Super Bowl MVP trading jabs on IG. I know Herm doesn't love this. On Wednesday, Vaughn Miller posted this picture on Instagram of Cam Newton playing water polo with himself photoshopped in the caption. Ha ha, water polo sack. Cam responded Thursday, posting the same image, saying he thought Miller's post was, quote, cute. Herm, what do you make of Von Miller trolling Cam? Oh, I just think they're having fun. I, mean, I, don't, I don't take it as anything. I, I think, think it's fun. I, I think they're both stars, and um, they have another meeting here pretty quick. Yes, yes. they do, right? On a Thursday night and, to open And the I year. think they're both competitive guys, obviously. And, you know, I, I think this happens all the time now. And, and we, can, we can have a debate on it. We can make more of it what it is. I just think it's, it's two guys right now, and they're getting after each other. I think Cam handled it right. I think everyone's waiting for what Cam was going to say, right? His response? Mm -hmm. Yeah, his response. If he says, if he, if he doesn't say it was cute or says something else, it was, oh, here we go. Cam can't handle you know, yeah. it. This is, look, all I know is this. They will play opening day in Denver. I do believe this, that when you look at Carolina, they haven't blocked Von Miller yet, right? And it's the offseason. Mm -hmm. They got to figure out a way to block Von Miller or, or this will be ugly again. Now, I think Carolina is on a mission, and I think this is probably the best game they could play. Opening day, yep. going to Denver. Was Thursday night? Mm -hmm. Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Go to Denver and let's see. Let, let, let's go see. With maybe Mark Sanchez at quarterback? Well, you never Lions. know. We'll yeah. see. We don't know who the quarterback is. This is going to be a great game. Real quick, before, so you're okay with Von? I'm okay this, with both these like guys. you like Cam's response? Cam's All fine. Right. Cam's fine. He's uh, fine. Coach, I love you. I respect you. But you're making way too little of this. This, to me, it's is a much season. bigger deal. No, I'll tell you why. Why is, it a, why, why is it a big deal? Von Miller will not back off of Cam Newton, and that's significant to me because he's shaming him publicly at every opportunity. And the reason he is is that he thought Cam came up small in the biggest game of the year, even down to that late fumble that Cam looked like he had a shot at recovering and didn't give great effort. Yep. And several of the, okay. right, several yeah. of the Broncos yeah. made a big point of, boy, uh, you know, you'd like for your quarterback to, to try to recover a fumble with the game still possibly on the line. Okay. So I think that what goes around has come back around. I think even Von Miller got a little sick and tired of Cam celebrating during the year. And when he couldn't live up to it in the Super Bowl versus Von Miller, Von's going to take every shot that he can on social media. <clears throat> and that was a, to, to me, that, that qualified as a low blow. You know, Cam's playing water polo, and here comes Von leaping in for the strip sack, as he calls it. And he, he wanted to get his goat because he thinks he has him on the run. Right. And here's my point. I don't think any other Super Bowl winning quarterbacks, certainly the top echelon ones, would, would get this kind of an attack from somebody who had beaten them in a Super Bowl. Like even, obviously, Peyton, Brady, nobody's going to go after them like that. Russell Wilson, after he demolished Peyton in that Super Bowl, I, I don't think anybody would have gone after Russell Wilson like this. I, I just think that Cam opened him up la himself last year, and Von Miller is running through that door right now. Well, we're going to see. Daring him. He's daring well, him. We're He's challenging him. I agree. I, I think what you're doing, yep. that's great for Von Miller, mm -hmm. okay, because you got the upper well, hand right now. He's dancing with the stars, you're man. You're good. You're, you're yeah, all good. You're, 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 you're living in the glory right. of success. You know, right now okay. he's dancing on the star, yeah, right? No doubt. He is. Right. 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 We'll see okay. opening night. We'll, we'll talk again after that I know. That I game. got it. I got okay. it. We'll talk yep. again after that I know. Game. This is like the new age trash talking. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. It, is. it is. It so is. That, right. To me, it's fun in games is that. But I do see your point where he, he is rubbing it in. I mean, it, he's doing water polo. It's funny. I, I definitely laughed at it when I first looked at it. Yep. Uh, I think they're rivals. I think they're number one pick, number two pick in the same draft yeah. class. Yeah. Yep. You know, Good point. And, and if you see Von Miller out there, this is how he is. When he gets a sack, he has the funniest celebration. Mm -hmm. Kind of a wild guy. He had the cowboy head yeah. afterwards. But 
Cam opens himself up when he does his dancing. He rubs it in your face. So you got to take both of it. To me, you it's got not a to. big deal because yep. of how you are. I do agree how he wouldn't. No other quarterbacks would get this treatment, but no other quarterbacks would give you the dab. Would give you know would be dancing on you. And because of that, to me, it's all fun and games, and you move on. Okay, but when Cam reacted with the the cute yeah. hashtag, <laughs> I, I don't think Cam thought it was cute. That's just me. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's easy to dismiss it publicly as oh, ain't that cute? But but it's not cute, and he. Knows Knows in his heart, it's not cute. But, but 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 here's the deal: if he says anything else, no, I agree with you. Then we're beating you. him up. I, I yeah. we're gonna beat up yeah. Cam. We, we, right. we beat him up after the interviews. So yeah. he says it's cute, and we're still gonna debate it. I do know this: be careful, be careful what you do to great players. Be careful what you do yep. when when I, I'm, when you I'm knock them down. Yep. Yeah, be material, careful okay. what you do. Yep. That's nope. all I'm gonna say. Yep. Okay. I, I did not have an issue with his post-game interview, as you recall. I want to be on record. Well, as I have no no issue whatsoever. You heard me. I was here. With, I, I, hey, I didn't either. Okay. I, I only had the issue with the game at Tennessee when he went on and on in one celebration after a rub-it-in yeah. late touchdown. Yeah. I just thought as the franchise quarterback, the face of the franchise, that's a little over the top to me. You don't need to do that. You're better than that. That's just me. Yeah. And that's what goes around and comes back around. We, we, we saw a team that's won a lot of Super Bowls, a Hall of Fame head coach, and a Hall of Fame quarterback uh, keep throwing the football and keep scoring. And uh, in the press conference, he says, well, Stop us. Yeah. No one say anything about that. Hey, well, I, I, I just said LeBron's been challenged. Le, Le, Cam Newton has been challenged. There's no doubt. Now. Hey, definitely. And, you think and, he doesn't know that? Yeah. And, you and think he, Cam listen, doesn't know there that? There is no doubt this young man has greatness oh. written all oh, over him. Of course. We saw lots of greatness yep. last year. Yep. We just didn't see it at the highest level in his first trip to that stage. And you've talked about. It overwhelms you. You're not quite ready exactly for it. Right. And then the confetti, you, you watch it fall oh, all on your no head, confetti. right? All I know is yeah. this, and we all watched it. Yep. Any big game he's played in, from high school, junior college, college, he's always won. Mm -hmm. Never lost a big game. Okay, he goes to the biggest game he's ever going to play yeah, as a football player far. in the Super Bowl. Yes. It wasn't even close. And I think, and I said it, when, when Von Miller came around and hit him, the first play, he fumbled the ball. Didn't, didn't come on his backside. No, nope, right came in on his face. front side. Got him it was right like, in the face. Knocked the ball away and took the ball away. It was yep. like, what just happened? What right. happened? So, right. I, so I'm learning, not learning, sure learning he quite recovered from that. Like it knocks you off balance and you you, you, you can't quite get your equilibrium I agree. after that. I agree. Okay, so greatness has been challenged. Yes. That's why Thursday night oh. is so oh, it's intriguing. Oh, so good. It's I cannot wait. One more thing before we move on with the trash talking, though. I know you said this is new age trash talking, but don't you think this is a step further? Because you guys are on the court. We can't really hear can't it. Can't hear it. This is public. They're putting it on blast. So I almost feel like you're taking That's it up That's a very a good point. No, I agree. He definitely is taking it to the next step, especially Photoshopping yeah. putting himself in. That's and that's work. why I think the Photoshop where it makes it kind of light of it with joking around. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Hey, this is the biggest game. So, I mean, like he said, he knows he's been tested. Yep. I, Cam's ready for this. But I just don't really get the point where someone like Steph Curry, you see him hit a big shot. He'll shimmy, he'll he dance. It's okay. Well, it's okay, but then Cam, okay. where football, when you score touchdowns, yep. celebration okay. is, is... It's perception. It's perception. Yeah. That's it's exactly perception. what it is. And I, I think it's a How bad do you rap. perceive a certain guy? Right. Look, it's we also knew the Peyton position. Manning. That right. is the yeah. quarterback. We, we knew yeah. Peyton Manning. Right. Okay, when they lost to Seattle, mm -hmm. didn't go over and, 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 and visit did Russell not. Yep. Right. left. Yep. We're okay no, with that. It was actually Drew Brees. That, well, that, is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. When Peyton Manning he, didn't, he didn't go shake Drew Brees' hand. Well, right? I thought it was Russell Wilson. Okay, he might have also. Yeah, it was Russell I know Wilson. both didn't, didn't of them. Go over there. Okay. okay. And, and, and we didn't say anything. Right. No one said anything. Right. Well, if Cam Newton, you know, he goes over there and says something to Peyton right. Manning after the game, just imagine if he didn't do that. And he did do that. That's exactly right. Yeah, so I did. just think sometimes the perception, and I understand it. I've been in the sport. I've been a coach. You know, I've been a player. I get it. And it's just we have certain perceptions of certain people, and we don't let it go. Let it go. Okay, but remember, when he celebrated at length that, that rub it in touchdown at Tennessee, yes. there were a whole bunch of Titans who publicly said, There's We no are doubt. not happy with There's that. No okay? Doubt. And no you doubt. would not have been happy with that as a player. No. no. Right? No. Okay. And as a coach, I would have I would have visited with Cam. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on, guys. Speaking of quarterbacks, will uh -oh. they go Carson Wentz? Will they go Ooh, Jared ramp. Goff? Will they trade? Jeff Fisher claims the new L.A. franchise doesn't know what they're going to do. Are we buying it? They just bet the farm. We'll get into that next.